Hey, this is John Gallant, and today I'm going to show you how to call the Azure REST APIs with Postman in no time flat. But before we get into the video, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by my free time. So if you could just like this video and subscribe to my channel so I know that you found it useful. First, go to aka.ms slash Azure REST NTF. That's going to take you to my blog where I have all these steps outlined in detail. You're going to need Postman installed, and you're going to need the Azure Cloud Shell. Over on the left, I have my blog open. On the upper right, I have Postman. And in the lower right, I have the Azure Cloud Shell. I've logged into the Azure Shell with the account that is associated with the Azure subscription that I want to use. First, let's create a Postman collection. Go to New, click on Collection, give it a name. Do not click create yet. Now we're going to add a pre-request script. This script will be executed before every request in this collection. It is going to grab our bearer token to be used by that request. Let's go ahead and select this code and paste it. Now we're going to configure some variables. We're going to need the client ID, client secret, tenant ID, the subscription ID, and the resource. You can set the resource default value to httpsmanagement.azure.com and we're going to want to put that in the current value column. Now keep this window open. Now we're going to create a service principal using the Azure Cloud Shell. That's the account that's going to be used to create the bearer token. So execute this Azure CLI command. Give your service principal a name. Hit enter. Now that your service principal has been created, let's copy the app ID to the client ID variable. Let's copy the password to the client secret variable. And let's copy the tenant to the tenant ID variable. Now let's get our subscription ID. Copy this code here into your cloud shell. Copy your subscription ID to the subscription ID variable. Now you can click create. The Azure REST API we're going to execute will return all resource groups for that subscription. I'm going to copy this URL into the URL field in Postman. I'm going to create an authorization header and set the value to bearer space bear token variable. Now I'm going to save this request to the collection I created. With Postman selected, I'm going to hit Control S. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to select the collection I want to add it to. I'm going to click Send and as you can see, the resource groups for my subscription have been returned. Once again, I want to thank my sponsor, my free time, and ask that you like this video or subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. Have a nice day.